I actually told Chuck that I might ask you to sing with me because I heard you sing before. But there's another question back there. Are, are there women rabbis in Orthodox congregations? So here's the answer to that. It's actually much more complex than one might realize. In general, historically, the answer has been no. As a matter of fact, I do know one woman rabbi who is Orthodox, who lives in Los Angeles, and there is a school that recently opened up in New York where these modern Orthodox women are becoming rabbis. So it is happening. I mean, it is a whole new world out there. And um, there's such, uh, I was just at a conference on, uh, for Jewish pastoral educators, and they are such innovative, amazing, brave women. I am not a cantor. Can't help. But I can I can do a little Jewish tune from time to time. So. <laughs> How about the uh, Jewish people are upset about the Mormons baptizing the dead? Uh, the, the rabbis sort of against that. We don't really like that very much. It kind of, in some ways, even goes against what I'm, I'm talking about regarding respecting people's traditions. However, that's important to the Mormons. I, I think that, um, you know, it gets to be a pretty complex set of theological issues and people's um, rights. I think we can all appreciate um, our Mormon friends for the kinds of genealogical records they keep. So, um, and I have phenomenal friends who are from Mormon tradition. And here's what I want to say, is there is a spectrum of beliefs. I think we really need to refrain from stereotyping any particular tradition. Um, I, ha I have Mormon friends who are, you know, more of, of what we hear about on television, and Mormon friends who are, you know, open and, you know, all of them are open and thinking. It's just good not to stereotype any particular tradition. Um, so, that's my two rubles on the issue. I'd like to make two brief comments. Mm -hmm. um, I was in Sharp Hospital for several days about five years ago, and it didn't matter to me who came. It was just nice to have someone that was there and didn't wear me out. And uh, at the same time, I understand the large number of years it takes to become a chaplain, especially in a medical setting. But many times, and I've been called on two different occasions where people knew I was a person of faith, and a family member called up and said, would you come and talk to my family member? They're on their deathbed and they're afraid to die. Mm -hmm. And the, the difference between total fear and complete peace is astounding. Mm -hmm. Now, having said that, I remember my two favorite visitors when I was in the hospital, one of them was the uh, uh, surgeon who had operated on my wife a few years before. He just happened to be on rounds and saw me. And he came in and he says, don't worry. Just think in a few months we could be sitting on the beach in the Bahamas drinking cocktails. He said, he passed a few things between here and there. And the second one that I really appreciated is Burnett. Uh, she came over, yes, and visited um, oh, it's wonderful. in Sharp, and uh, I'll always remember her sneaking in the cookies, the first sweets I had in, in several days. Sneaky, <laughs> sneaky. And we had a wonderful time, and just what I'm trying to say is any of us could go and visit and be an encouragement if you just listen and watch and learn. We'll not uh, perform at a professional level, but we can be a, an encouragement to people who need a little encouragement. That's my first comment. The second comment is I'm not aware of any uh, of women that are rabbis that are lions, and we'd certainly like to. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I forgot to tell you that I'm really excited to tell my nephew. Ari, which means is Ariel. Um, Ari means lion, and Ariel is God's lion. That I was rawr with the lions today. <laughs> so I think uh, he'll really, really enjoy that. And thank you for the invitation. Appreciate it. And I do want to say, I don't know if, if you noticed that Chuck and I have the last name, the same last name. He has two B's and I have one. 
And I was telling him that my last name, Robbins, is from Rabinowitz, which means son of rabbi. So um, we could be cousins, you never know. Um, but I, I always like meeting another Robbins, no matter where they come from. And I'm enjoying meeting all of you. And I thank you for taking the time to hear my spiel. <laughs> yeah.